Well, greetings again. This is Dr. Bill White with the American Orthodontic Society. And I have a case here this morning that I want to show you. And it was protruding, I don't know much that, 12 millimeters extension there. And I call it just conquering the challenge of doing the correcting this type of case. So watch it and let's see how it goes. And I hope you pick up something from it. So I'm going to get started here and try to do it as fast. I got a lot of slides on this young lady. And these pictures were taken back in 1974. And this is something that, in other words, the same thing that happens then will happen today. And it's not out in class or anything else what you do. So let's watch it. She's she's a grown woman now. She's still alive. But look at how the teeth stuck out. I mean, they really were out there. And I don't know, I didn't have a measurement to tell how far from here out to here was, but it's close to uh, 10 or 12 millimeters out there. And we extracted some teeth back in uh, 1970, you took a lot of teeth out. Um, I probably could do the case without taking any teeth out today, but anyway, we did, and it was in the mixed dentition, a lot of it, and so we had to take, take time while we get there. Now, these lower teeth are in the roof of the mouth up here, and these have got to come back in, and this has got to go down, and these will have to go up, and we'll get this together. So this is something that you need to learn how to do. And in this particular case, I wanted to bring the upper teeth back for further, and I didn't want to bring this back much at all, so I took out the second bicuspid here, and the first one up above, like that. So we'll watch and see how this works out. All right, this is their cephalometrics, 11, 15, or 74. She's uh, age 12 at this point, right there. And here we're going to do some extractions on her. And this is when I was first getting into this. So I, I don't remember whether we took them out or not. Sometimes I would if they couldn't get uh, somebody to get them out uh, easily. So we took the teeth out. Now, here is what we did. And uh, we, this was back when we had the cement bands on the teeth and operate with the bands. And we would come in and I had a kind of an intruding arches. In other words, we would, now we would put them in and bring these teeth down and these teeth up uh, here and it would take the force out of the motors back in the back here to do it. All right, here we're opening that up. And I'm gonna run through these real quick. We're waiting for teeth to erupt into the mouth now. It's a kind of a mixed dentition. So anyway, we're 75, 1975, and we are just getting started good on some of these cases where you have to allow the teeth to erupt in the mouth, you take a lot longer to do the case. And now, but, but we've got it down slightly, and we used a cervical headgear. In other words, it fits behind the neck, comes out, and you can actually raise this bar and do it like that to have some effect on the anterior part of the mouth. That's a cervical headgear and then it would bring this portion of the face in right here. And we'll show you how it fit. And now we had some class two elastics. You see we bonded hooks on here. They come back like that. And we were pulling them back. And now we'll bring the front teeth in like this and you would have to raise them up. And these were in the roof of the mouth. So you take these down and they'll come forward some, and this will go back some, 
and we'll bring the teeth together in the anterior part of the mouth together that way. Well, we're still working on this, but we have the teeth in here. We've extracted the, the upper bias, I think, and on the upper second bias on the upper. And now we'll let those teeth come in. On the bottom now, we took the first of, and I kind of take that back. Looks like we got the cuspid, and I guess that is the second bias on the bottom. Now the 12 year motors are coming in, and it's 1975. And this type of case takes a long time because you gotta wait on the teeth to erupt into the mouth. And it's, it's better than just sitting there and let it alone till they're about 14 or more before you start. So we started, we knew where we wanted to go, and now we're we going in that direction. So here we are, 1976, and we've got everything in. We've raised these and brought them back, and brought these down and brought them back. And that arch wire probably was dipped in like that to, to close the bite. And now we use a, a wire to hook in here to close up some of this space, bring the posterior teeth back. This is night seven of 76. So we start out 74, so it's not too long in there. And uh, we've got some decalcification up here, but I think she's taking care of her teeth pretty good now, but this happened uh, earlier while she was just a little girl, I think. And now we got class two elastics Back then we soldered hooks on here and they're almost level so they're not pulling this down much. It's just pulling right straight in here. And we had this, the headgear from the cervical part. All right, here we go, 76. We've got everything in there now. We're gonna close those spaces up. and we're gonna get them together. And so we finished the case out. Now when we had bands on it, you had to have the teeth a little more protrusive out here and you had to close all that space. You lost some of the uh, torque you had in them, so you had to guess it what you wanted to put the torque at, but you couldn't bring them back and say that this is what you're gonna get. What you get you won't see it until you get the space closed up. So the midline's on it pretty good right now, and we've got it back in. And so we have the overjet, the overlight bite is good. And we'll put her in a retainer and we'll put a bite plate on it. And here it is in 1993. And that's that was 70 something. So this is years after we had a bite plate, but it lets these things close down to some extent, but not a great deal. And there's the pictures. We still have the six year motors banded, but it's in a class one. Let's touch it back in there good. Now let's show this as we get finished out here. All right, this is, here she came in looking like that. And then a little later, she still was protruding out. And now, she looks really good. She started, we started bringing that in, and it looks quite well. And here we've got it in now, this is her school pictures, I think, or something we took about that same time. Now she got a little older and it changed. She's not quite as attractive, but is a nice lady. Now this picture right here is really good and the vertical height of the face, the protrusion and everything is good. So we met the challenge <laughs> here. 
we produced something that will stay with this young lady. And here it is in 93. And here is, uh, that's on 79, I think, right there. And there she is after she's a little older. And that's in the 90s. And I'm just showing you that to show you you can do it. And that's what I want to get across to people. You can do it. And these look like tough, tough cases. And they are better. They they're take longer than usually. And she was 13 at 74. Now this is 76 right here. And here it is in 93. And so this is holding up good. And it looks like she's got a six year molars and 12 year molars and wisdom teeth lined up in there. And we took the bicuspids out, but we had room for the wisdom teeth, apparently. Let's see if we still do here at 74. Watch, watch as we move this tooth forward. This will come up in underneath there. Same thing here. Like we took these out right here, and this has come together. Now let's go. That's 1974. There's 75. The teeth are together. The wisdom teeth are developing, and she developed some root uh, space back there. That's 1976. And this is uh, still 76. And now this is 93, and the wisdom teeth are here. Now we took teeth in here, and we traded these little bicuspids for cuspid, I mean for, for wisdom teeth. This is the best tooth in the mouth for chewing. It's right over the, the muscle structure. If you want to chew something hard, you get it back on these teeth back here. And that's where you really get pressure on something. And we traded it. It is much better now. Like you condemn somebody for extracting the teeth, but you save the wisdom teeth. People talk about non-extraction. Man, don't do non-extraction. Just shove all this back. Keep the teeth, then extract the wisdom teeth, and act like they're not taking out teeth. They're taking a better tooth out than they would have taken if they could have kept the wisdom teeth. You don't know all the way, every time, how much they're going to grow. If you went back in here, you'd see it there, that's 76, and this is 93, so 76, 86 to 93. That's a good long while. She's had several cavities done in there, but we met the challenge. And that's what a, so this is a challenge to do these cases. And it took several years to do it. And you have to wait on teeth to erupt into the mouth. So I thank you for watching. And I hope you'll tune in to our channel and uh, we have three uh, channels in YouTube and one Facebook and I think two or three other places that are showing this and uh, this is good orthodontics and that's what I want to pass on that do a good set and something that holds up through the life of that person thank you for watching and I want to Say goodbye and hope to see you again soon.